Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my god. What is going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today I am back with another video. In today's video we are going to be doing the MTB Pro Challenge. We are going to try and catch a fish on every single lure in this box. Hopefully we get some big fish today. Now we are up against the weather you guys. It is currently raining right now. It is raining and we are going to pull through fish in the rain the sun the wind whatever comes at us we're going to try our best to get some fish today now if you guys don't know what mtb is it is a monthly subscription tackle company that sends bait to your front door so you can try new stuff old stuff it is absolutely incredible it is a must-have for any angler i will leave links in the description below where you can get your first box for five bucks it's totally worth the five dollars you guys the amount of lures that are in this box are way over the value of five bucks so it is an absolute deal make sure you click those links in the description i'm super pumped about today i've been seeing a lot of fish jump in from spot to spot that we've been to so far and we're gonna go ahead and whip out the box and see what we can do so let's go ahead and get started I'm pumped. All right, you guys, so we are here on the water, and now we are going to get into this box. First thing we're gonna try out, there's so many cool stuff in this box, it's unbelievable. This is probably one of the best boxes I've gotten so far, and this is why I love Mystery Tackle Box. There's a lot of things in here that I have never tried before, as well as things that I have tried. So I see a bunch of cool stuff. I'm just gonna wait till I get to it, but the first thing I'm gonna try is the Exoswim. 4.75 inch so we're gonna tie this on to like a little jig head and we're gonna throw it around cover some water and see what we can do whoa oh my gosh snakehead on the swim bait you guys literally i was just what the heck? That was very, very unexpected. I was just dropping my just dropping my swim bait just to literally test it out how it looks in the water. That flapping tail, I guess, attracted this uh, little baby snake. Jesus. That was very, very unexpected. Unfortunately, I think I just went through one of my swim baits. Yep, he tore it up. God. Well, that's one on the board for the Exo Swim. This thing is irresistible to these guys. Ow. There you have it. Check out this little baby, probably half pounder. Baby, baby snake. Hey, this guy was hungry. He's learning how to hunt and he uh, he fell for the swim bait. Hopefully we get some more of these guys, 10 times the size of them, but I'm after some big bass as well, but we'll take that as the first catch. There's a big, there's a snake head right in front of me. I don't know if you can see, he's right there. He doesn't know I'm here. I'm trying to get him. Spooked. You guys, I've come across this little cove. I've seen so many fish right here. I'm whispering, because I don't want them to get spooked, but there's been a ton of fish. Look, there's more. I saw a snakehead right here. I got peacocks over here. I got a gar just pulled up, and there's a reason for this. There's a reason why. Oh my God, the gar just bit it. Oh, the gar's on. Oh my goodness. You guys, there's a reason why this is happening. I'm gonna show you in a second. I just don't want to lose my opportunity on these fish. I'm going to show you why all these fish here have gathered to this little corner in just two seconds. Right, so check this out. This is what's creating these massive populations of fish to just huddle around this little area. We just got a ton of rain. I didn't get it on camera, but we just got torrential downpours for literally like hours and hours it lasted. And it's created a lot of water. We are currently flooding. All the canals and lakes and ponds are flooding right now. But look what this area has created. It's created like a little stream. I've never seen this before. It's just a field. I'm standing, look where I'm standing. I'm just standing in a patch of grass, but it's just created like a little stream of water that's flowing down all the way down into here and inside this little cove into this little lake. Now, I've heard pops, like I've heard things popping inside deep in that water where this little river is starting. And what's happening is that it's dragging in insects and lizards and all kinds of food for these fish. And the bluegill are getting attracted to it and the bigger fish are getting attracted to the bluegill. So it's really creating a ton of action, which is interesting to see. I've never actually seen this before. It's literally like a little stream. It's so cool. I can, I can step in it and the flow is actually it's pretty strong it's flowing and it's just dragging in everything that's in these bushes and grass whatever's in here is getting dragged all the way in there 
it's super super cool i've never seen anything like this oh my god you guys look at this this is unbelievable i found a fish trying to swim upstream up this thing which is to nothing he doesn't know where he's going what he needs to do is go back to the lake let me see if i can grab him i don't know where he went that was unbelievable Oh, I just had one. You guys, I just had one. These things are so stacked. I'm telling you, they're stacked, just waiting for food to come out of there. Oh, got him, got him. There we go, guys. Oh my God. Look at this, look at this fish. I got him right underneath, right where that runoff is coming from. Finally, oh my God. Male, I think he was accompanied by a female. There's so many. I could see them down there. There's so many fish in this pocket. It's unbelievable. And they're all here to feed. It's dinner time. And they're happy about all the rain because that just brings them more food. I'm going to get this guy off the hook, put him back. We're going to let this guy go. Pretty fish. Tried real hard for that one. Oh, thank you, buddy. Sorry to interrupt your, uh, your dinner you guys are having. Yep, he's ready to go. We had a ton of fun with the swim bait. We're going to switch to another lure in the box we're gonna use we're gonna try this we're gonna do the deadbolt mushroom jig head and match it up with oh by catchco by the way and we're going to match it up with the satoshi bug also by catchco now i've actually made a video almost completely on this thing this thing is absolutely awesome the satoshi bug is really really good these things are super, super, super stretchy. They have the, they have Stretch X plastic made with ultra durable high buoyancy. So we're gonna throw this on to the jig head and see what we can do. All right guys, I got the Satoshi bug rigged up and I actually walked up to this body of water and I see two fish chilling right there, cruising. Let's see if they want it. Nope, they got, oh, he did want it. Oh my gosh, I thought he got scared. He came back for it. That's why, you guys, every time you come to a new spot, don't just jump right in front of the bank. You gotta look from back and see if there's fish cruising because most of the time, there's gonna be fish on that bank looking for food and you could just pitch right to them. That was awesome. I thought we spooked him, but he ended up coming back for the bug. Decent fish, he's a fighter. See ya, buddy. Nice to nose dive. I have a feeling we're gonna catch some good ones today here. These fish are there we go another one you guys oh my god working that bug on the bank these fish let me tell you these fish are really really hungry and they're all all of them are just cruising the bank right now we actually moved spots from that uh natural made stream and i'm telling you, you guys we had so much rain that most of this water is flooded look at this here so the water here is usually like down here but it's all the way up here so what these fish are doing is they're cruising. They're looking for bait that got pulled up to the bank. They're just eating like crazy. Oh, there we go. There's a knock. Got a little knock. I knew I thought they're on those pads. There we go. Oh yeah, good size one. The bigger ones are always on the pads, you guys. That is a beautiful fish. Big old bass. Come on, buddy jumper Woo, get up here oh yeah that is a fat chunky healthy largemouth look at that right on the corner Damn, he's heavy this guy's been eating his stomach is full wow third catch on this bug this thing is such a blast to use you guys and that thing off the floor is slow it literally does not get better best bite you can ask for other than a frog bite thanks for falling for it He's off. All right, guys, let's see what is next in the box. Got rid of those, did these. Now there is some really interesting stuff in here. Probably gonna be really, really fun to use. Now this is something that I have never, ever even seen. This is a Chase Bates wiggle bomb, big wiggle bomb. First thing that comes to my mind is like a tadpole. Looks like a, like a grown tadpole. Not really even sure what this could be. Big wheel ball, extra like creature swimming action, blah, 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 blah. It says on the back to treat it more of like a wake bait. So we're gonna see exactly how this action is gonna be. I'm really confused 
on this lure. I've never used this before, but that's the name of the game. We're gonna try it out and see how we can do. Hopefully get some crazy hits on this. Oh, there we go. All right, at the bank, I was moving up. Oh, peacock. Peacock bass exploded on him, my gosh. I was not expecting that, you guys. He saw me, I was just moving, working these banks, covering some water. This guy just exploded on it. It's a nice, it's a nice peacock bass. These fish are actually sitting on the flooded portion of this water. You can see that we've been getting a ton of rain. I mean, there's more coming in. I'm not sure if you guys can see this massive rain cloud over me right now, but the rain has been nonstop and it's been flooding like crazy, you guys. And these fish literally just sit on the flooded portion, like right there. They just hang out and look for food because they know that there's a lot of stuff in this grass that's coming into the pond that wasn't there before. See you, bud. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. You guys, I just watched that snakehead come and wreck this thing. Oh my God, it wasn't top water. I got him on subsurface, but I watched him eat it. Oh my God. Oh, this is a giant. We do not want to lose this fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was insane. That was probably one of the nicest snake head eats ever. He came up and absolutely destroyed it. Oh no. All right, we're gonna work this guy really careful. Oh my God, that was such a cool eat. We give this guy all the time he wants because I don't have any kind of special knot. I was expecting bass. So I got just straight, I think this is 20 pound braid. And this is a big snake head, you guys. Big, big, big snake head. Look at that beast, look at him, he's tired. Oh my goodness, he's so big. We're gonna try and get this guy up. I might do the dragging technique because I'm not trying to get soaked right now. Yeah, he swallowed it. Oh, here comes the rain. No. Now it's starting to pour. I gotta take cover under these trees and I gotta get this guy up. We're gonna just land him. We're gonna slide him up on the bank. Nice and easy. Oh my God, what a beast. We've taken a little bit of cover. It's starting to pour. Of course, not a surprise. We're underneath this tree and look at this. The camera just doesn't give him justice at all. This is about, or an eight and a half, maybe pushing nine pound snakehead. Look how thick he is, he's huge. Look at that back tail. That back tail is massive. Just to give you a comparison, I mean, this back tail is almost the size of my hand. All right, guys, check it out. Got him off the hook. Monster, monster fish. Beautiful snakehead. Got the blue on him. It's absolutely pissing rain right now. It just started thunderstorming. I don't know if you guys heard it, but it's lightning and thundering. This is such a beauty. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can get some more. Maybe switch up baits, but we gotta wait out this rain. So just to give you guys a visual, you guys hear me complain about the weather a lot. Look what just came out of nowhere. I mean, look at this. I caught the fish right here two seconds ago and it's torrential downpour. Absolutely pouring, we gotta go. The rain has passed. I don't know if you can hear it in the back but it's still thundering. It's been about an hour since we caught that snakehead. We're gonna try and finish up this challenge because there's more coming and I'm not trying to get more soaked than I already am. Uh, the next bait we're gonna try out, Arbo Gast Hula Popper 2.0. I've used one of these. These things are pretty legit. I couldn't ask for almost better conditions to use this Hula Popper. Overcast, light rain. These fish are so flared, especially on top. And this thing makes a lot of commotion in the water. Rain's starting to pick up again. Oh, can I catch a break here? There we go. First fish on the hula popper, guys. See, stay consistent. You'll get one or two fish. Not a giant that I wanted, but first one on this lure, we'll take them. Not even a, that much of an explosive bite from this guy, but uh, we got him. Little guy, so warm. Not a bad first fish on this lure. See you, bud. Oh, oh my God. Oh, what the 
back right when I oh my goodness you guys I was literally about to just bring it in and I saw this fish behind it. I thought it was a bass it's a huge snake and he just shook it off oh my god today you guys the rain is inconvenient but it really brings the fish out that was insane I don't know if you guys can see that far but this guy is literally about to pounce on a fish he's like locked and loaded ready to go see his neck come on man get it you got this there he goes ha you missed it you missed it bud oh he's chasing it oh he got it he got it what does he got i think he's got a peacock bass in his mouth oh my god this crane just caught a peacock bass. That was my bass. Hello. You guys, I wasn't filming like an absolute amateur, but we got another giant snakehead on the line. Oh my gosh. The bite wasn't even that great. So I'm not even that worried about not filming. Oh my God. It was actually a really subtle take. No explosion, no splash at all. I just saw my hula popper disappear and this guy was on the other end of it. Nice snakehead. Couldn't get the bite. Rookie mistake. Thought my GoPro was on, but it's okay. Still got this beautiful, beautiful fish. Not as big as the last. Oh my God, he engulfed it. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna get this guy out of the water. 100% sure, 99.99% sure. Uh, this is the exact snakehead that I lost when we first got here. That first bite that I got, this is the exact same fish because he's a jumper and he was almost in the same spot. I did another round around here, came back and he was still right there, so. Can't even compare. This one's a little bit prettier though. He's got a lot more blue in him. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the GoPro, but right here, it's a very distinct blue line. It's like bright blue in person. If you can see this, you'd be amazed how bright this fish is. Just completely in his mouth. That is going to be rough to get out. Good thing we got pliers. All right, guys, we're gonna see if we can get some more. There's more rain coming in. But we're gonna try our best to get uh, maybe one more fish on that hula popper, we'll see. But look at that. I am really, really stoked about today, you guys. We've been getting on the snakeheads a lot. I guess it's time, it's summertime, rain, heat, they love it. And they're biting, this is a beauty. I think that is going to do it for me. I have had it with the rain today, even though the fish are absolutely on fire. It's getting later in the day, it's getting dark. We're gonna call it and get out of this rain and dry off a little bit. Make sure you guys go and check out Mystery Tackle Box, you guys. This month's box was absolutely amazing. I had a ton of fun. I had a blast using the lures that were in here. Things that I've used before, things that I haven't. A little toad tadpole kind of thing. Caught the biggest fish today, and I have never even seen that lure in my life. So that's the great thing about the MTB box. Get yourself one. I'll leave some links in the description as you get your first box for five bucks. Check out that link get a box try it out have some fun and catch some monsters you guys if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up it lets me know that you enjoy all the content that i am creating for you on a daily basis standing out here in the rain lightning thunder make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below let me know what you want to see next as always everyone thank you so much for watching liking commenting and subscribing i greatly appreciate you and i will see you in the next one peace there's some of the things we expect with summer <laughs>